What is up, my quesadillas? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Train Station Adventures, the show where we look at the map, hit the tracks, eat the snacks with the goofs and gags, cause we all about that. My name is Kay, and let's set sail on the rails. Actually, we gotta look at the map first. All right, so I'm here in Minakami Station. It's a real nice station. You know why I'm staying here if you watch my other videos. But yeah, I'm here in Gunma Prefecture, up on these mountains here in Japan. I'm actually live streaming right now. I think CJ Cat 33 is gonna roll a dice, so let's wait for her to tell us what the number is. All right, so CJ Cat rolled one and five, so that makes six. No, it's not 15, and it'd be six. I guess we could do that. We could make it 15. No, nah, no, nah, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of stations. No, nah, we're gonna do six. We're gonna do addition. So I think we're where that red arrow is pointing. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we could go to that station, that 680 station right there, or we could go to that 590 station right there. Now let's do the 590 since it's cheaper. The 680 one seems like it's a bigger station, so that might be nice, actually. Here, let me ask the chat real quick, hold up. All right, hey guys, which station should we choose? Go look up Minakami Station, look at the two stations that are six across from it, and choose which one is the better one. One seems to be a bigger station, and the other one seems to be a smaller station. Which one should we go to? No, we won't go to Suicide Forest. It's like five hours away. Oh wait, I forgot my mask. Shoot, all right, let's ask this nice lady here. So the 680 one is up north, so more into the country. And then the 590 one is more towards Tokyo. We should just go balls deep. We should go more into the country. Even though it's more expensive, let's do it. So we're gonna go towards Niigata. They got some different drinks up in the country. They got Banina Miruka. I had that before, it was pretty good. I never had almond milk. Oh shit, it's Blue Diamond Almond Breeze? Oh, I know that, they got that in America. I drink that all the time. Okay, what's this one? Jagaimo soup. Oh shit. So usually they got corn soup, and then if you're lucky, there's onion soup. Here they got potato soup. Why is it cold though? That's kind of weird. This is good, this green tea. This came out recently in the kombinis. These are super good. Trains don't come here very often, and so we might have to wait a while. But I feel like I can talk louder because there's not much people here. All right, let's get ourselves. Actually, I don't need, I can't be getting that sugar. It's kind of expensive too, goddamn. The bigger one is cheaper at the kombini. This is all way too damn expensive, actually. You know, I might just get myself a good old cold. Why is this 170 yen? Why is cold? 130 yen and this apple juice is 170 yen my friend is an apple juice fanatic and he like gave me these apple juices he just had them in his pockets and his backpack he gave me like three i guess these are special apple juices oh it's fuji it's fuji apples i see i see so that's that extra juicy apple juice i think i'm gonna go with the cola i haven't had a cola in a while i should have got milk tea this is number one i think we got to go to number two A lot of people drive cars around here. I don't think trains is the best source of transportation out in the country, out in Guma. Cheers. This doesn't taste that good for some reason. It doesn't taste like rich, you know? Oh, I think American Coke is better. Mamonak 
1番線に列車が参りますご注意くださいまもなく1番線には折り返し16時47分発車崎駅は到着をいたします Yeah, I'm just not feeling that punch. Maybe we should have went to the other station because the train just arrived for the other track. Yeah, it's just, it's not hitting like American cola for some reason. It's definitely not hitting like Mexican cane sugar cola. It's not, it's just not, Japan's lacking. Maybe it's just my taste buds today. Maybe it's just the way I'm feeling today, but I don't know, I feel like it's lacking. It's lacking that real juice. It's lacking that real, it's lacking that extra kick, you know? Actually, this train just seems to be staying here. I guess that's how it is in the country. It just, this train just stick around longer. They don't leave in five seconds. We're losing daylight, so let's just hop on this one. It might be funner to go to the station down because it'll probably be bigger since it's closer to Tokyo. But then again, the station up north might be bigger since it's closer to Niigata. I mean, at this point, we're on the north side of Japan. We'll just be going into, like, the middle of the country if we go down, but we'll see. I don't know, the 681, it had, like, a special bubble around it, so that probably means it's, like, a more significant station. So we just made it to Shikishima. So I just stopped streaming because it just disconnected. But I looked at the map and it actually might have been a better idea to go to the other station up north because there was a lot more stuff over there than I saw on the map. It looked like there was nothing here, but we'll check it out. This seems to just be like a neighborhood station with like nothing really. Yeah, literally nothing. They got this old ticket machine. Damn, this looks old. Like this is how you know it's a small station. They only got like one ticket scanner and this is a surprise they got trash every seat here i've never came across that so kind of makes me interested to see what the station's like so so yeah right when i walked out the station I noticed a lot of school of uh, school kids came out too at the same time. I saw that there's a junior high school, the station down called Shibukawa, I think. I saw that there was like a Shibukawa junior high school, so I'm pretty sure they came from there. Well, actually, no, never mind, because they came from the same train as me. They came from north. I don't know, but um, yeah, so like they were just standing there. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> there's nothing here. So we got the station right here. We got like a little store i think that's like a mochi store over there and then there's like a i think that's like a general grocery store this seems to be like a maybe like an izakaya or something and then here is like a ramen shop maybe konyaku. they got a konyaku shop oh and then they got a cement store so yeah um let's just walk this way and see, see what happens this is definitely giving me some totoro vibes when i look out at the view i feel like i'm at obachan's house Seems like there's a lot more buildings over there, way over there. Right, let's just walk this way. Oh shit, what's this? Oh, of course, there's gotta be a hair salon. A lot of Japanese people, like boys and girls, they're always like, you know, touching their hair, making sure it's good. But damn, the staircase is getting real, 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 real wild. The staircase is overgrown. It's not even a staircase anymore. It's just a 
It's part of the woods. Oh shit, there's a spider web there. I'm gonna have to just dodge that. Oh fuck, oh, is there more spiders? I think I'm good. Shit, where'd that spider go? Oh, I found it, okay. I'm not even scared of spiders. I don't know why I'm acting scared. I don't even care. So this staircase just goes back down to the street. So this is like the most pointless staircase ever. I guess it's a pee spot. I feel like there used to be a pathway this right here but it got overgrown whoa there's bamboo i remember learning in school that like in feudal japan they used to cut bamboo slanted to use it as spears but there would be some thick spears because these are pretty thick that's like wide as my knee let's go back down this kind of takes me back to my childhood. I don't know why, I just... I used to live in Japan. I mean, I, I do now too, but I used to live in Japan when I was a little baby. And I don't know, there was just a certain vibe that you get. And I don't know, I'm just kind of having this nostalgic feeling. Kind of taking me back. Hmm. Seems like there's a lot of caterpillars out here enjoying the leaves. All these leaves have holes in it. There's some berries here. They look kind of evil though. They don't look healthy. So I'm not gonna eat that. I think I'm getting bitten by a mosquito, so I'm gonna get out of here. Damn, that's like a, I think that's like a poison needle, poison kettle. Well, that's weird. It's like, this is like spiky. It doesn't look spiky, but it is spiky. It's like, it's tiny spiky. Whoa, that's a spider. Whoa, I didn't even see that. Oh, that's like a grass spider. I've never seen a green spider before. I can't focus it, it won't focus. Yeah. They got a cool rock climbing wall here. Man, I can totally see what this was like. Like hundreds, hundreds of years ago. When there were ninjas and stuff. I could see it. Oh, what's this? That's the shortest telephone number I've ever seen. Besides 911. What is this? Manjuda. Manjuda. Looks like it's closed, unfortunately. Whoa, these are some pretty flowers, though. This place is called Fukuzoji. I got a little bamboo gate here, but that don't stop me. Interesting. I want to find a trash can. Got those cocoa. Away. It's weird that there's no kombinis up here. Kombinis is like the one thing that there is everywhere, but not here. Hey, ding, ding, ding. We found something of substance. Here we go. We found a shrine, baby. I think for the series, I'm going to start a shrine count. So, boom. I can totally see how the game developers of Breath of the Wild use these for inspiration. It's not as loud as I thought. I feel like Norm from Tokyo Lens. This reminds me of my ancestors. My great 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 grandfather was probably friends with this guy.
think this has to do with like Shinto. Actually, I think all shrines have to do with Shinto. That kanji up there, it means water. I don't know what that symbol stands for, but it's kind of cool. It just, just looks like a video game. Like if I was like a water bender, this is like the building I would go to. And they got a dirt bike trail here. That's where I entered. Came in through here. Oh, wait a minute. It's starting to smell like manure. Looks like we're getting into farm territory. This is the Kansas special. Whew. Maybe we'll see Otis out here. Whoa, we found a ramen place. There's an Oaxaca right there. That's a graveyard. And we found a ramen place. Damn, they got a restaurant right way out here. Guess we gotta go check it out. The ramen shop just started playing music. I think that's where it's coming from. This graveyard seems to be very pretty. All the graves are new. It's shiny, high quality graves here. All right, so I just walked around the graveyard. I feel like it'd be fun being a kid out here. I like playing tag and stuff, like playing hide and go seek or tag or something like that. It's like making stuff. I don't know if this is someone's property. Wait a minute. This is where we were before. Wait, what? I feel like I'm far away from where we, what? This is like some cabin in the woods type shit. How do we end up back here? Is this the same spot? What? It's trippy. How are we back here? What the fuck? We should, oh, I just walked this way. I walked all the way around there. And then I walked this way. And then I walk this way, and then I guess it makes sense that we're here. So it all just kind of connects, I see. So I don't know if I want to go in that ramen shop because I don't have my mask. I don't want to, like, you know, intrude. There's probably some old people there. I don't want to, like, scare them or anything. So, yeah, unfortunately, I forgot my mask, damn it. That was perfect, too. We could have just reviewed the local ramen. Honestly, I'm just kind of scared to go in there because, like, I'm a foreigner, and, like, I just feel... I just feel kind of nervous to go in there, honestly. That's like the real reason. You know, I don't mind getting kicked out for not having a mask, but I just like kind of feel... If I had like someone with me, I'd feel better about it, but... I don't know. I, feel, I just feel alone and outnumbered by old people. There was like old people in there too, so... Okay, it'd be kind of fun, I guess. It could end up pretty funny. But, uh... Domo! Oh, I feel like I'm getting more Japanese. I just said domo. I never say that. I never say that. What the fuck? I never say domo. I always say like something weird. I always say like konnichiwa. Oh shit, this is a udon place. Udon soba. I always say like konnichiwa. But for some reason, maybe I'm just out in the country. I just know what's up. I just knew what to say right there. I just knew that I should say domo. Like domo just came up in my brain and I just said that. Crazy, I sounded like a natural. I sounded so... I felt Japanese. Damn, I'm feeling that Japanese spirit. Domo! Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Domo. Domo. It's starting to get dark though. The sun went down. It's only a matter of time till it's straight up dark. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we went in the right direction though. I'm gonna head back to the train station and the video here because my battery's almost dead. Not much to show out here. Everything's closed too because of Corona. Besides that ramen shop, I should have went. Next time I'll bring a spare battery too because my battery's almost dead. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to interview this lady in front of me with the battery I have left. But in case the battery dies, I'm going to do the outro right now. Thank you for watching my quesadillas. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like... Demons.